Hi, and welcome to Red Track. We got many questions about how exactly Red Track technology works. Well, whenever we say, yeah, we are big data, we have load, we have smart attribution, that all sounds like the buzzwords. So, in order to step aside from the buzzwords, from all the marketing terms, and bring some light into track and attribution part of Red Track technology, we're doing this short presentation and we'll focus on how red track attribution works. So, first of all, why do you need track and attribution? Because nowadays, with the death of third party cookies and inability of your ad network to reliably, or reliably for you at least, attach your conversion result to their performance, and we have this first party words of our clients where their backend, like their revenue numbers and conversions, are not matching with what their ad networks attribute. And the more complex is the customer journey, the more complex the problem gets. Or, as an ad agency, you cannot get credit for all your campaigns, especially at the top of the funnel, if uh, all the tracking and attribution is done to the last click. So, the idea is to bring some light into this black box and see which clicks in which sequence the conversion. So basically understanding the journey of your clients on the very high level, on the very granular level, on the each individual purchase details. And there are some quite important terms. We have conversion events that all digital marketers strive to get, whether it's add to cart, uh, filling up the form, purchase, subscription, and then we have last clicks which happened before the conversion event. First clicks, that how uh, the customer actually discovered the web property. And uh, then we have assisted clicks, everything that goes in between. And we also have an attribution window. That is basically the period the system can measure the journey from the last click to the first click. And of course, doing uh, the paid marketing, there is also point part that clicks are not made equal, if you can say so. There are paid clicks, uh, there are track clicks, there are organic clicks, so you want to give quite often more credit to paid clicks and you want to be able to tell exactly which click is paid, which click is not paid. Last but not least, with the red track, it's very important to understand that despite our ability to, to build multi-touch attribution modeling, to have all your clicks in one place, in the core reports, there is just one, let's call it corner store attribution model. It's either last click or last paid click or first click and coming soon first paid click. Everything else is visible in uh, the other reports. And before we proceed to those reports, let's see how it actually works, what tools power the ability of Red Track to collect, process, and present you with all the data. First, RedTrack combines server-side track and first-party cookies. So basically, all the data is stored in RedTrack service, and only the first-party cookie and the definition of to model is stored on the user device in the first-party cookie. And what's even more important, and why we have big data and high load, RedTrack can process all those clicks and conversions and all the metadata, URL parameters, device, location, website listed data individually without sampling aggregation. And basically, this data belongs to you and you own this data when you use Red Track. Not just reports, but the core data. And another solution uh, that works on the backend in the Red Track it's our ability to tell paid clicks from direct clicks and create a unique. ID for each of the clicks and then uh, pass this ID into the conversion event and do the deterministic based attribution. However, it's not that simple because sometimes there is cross-browser experiences, especially when you do Facebook ads and somebody opens in Facebook web view then calls to open in Chrome. Sometimes there are uh, cross-device conversion events. We have uh, the ability to compare click and their metadata real-time and do cross-browser attribution. 
we have also the ability to match conversions based on the metadata, like hashed email, hashed phone, or in external ID, also real-time, and merge those conversions to a single customer journey. So now you have customer journey or multi-touch attribution modeling across all the devices that you had the touch points with that particular client or visitor. So, in reality, it works like this. You have your ad networks and you have your website. On this website, there is red track script that basically does the server-side tracking. It's like capturing and sending all incoming clicks into red track. Red track processes those clicks, saves them, generates unique click ID for each click, and based on your core uh, according to an attribution model, it's basically usually last paid click, updates or doesn't update this ID in the first party cookie. Then we pass it to the conversion event. Might be different for advertisers, affiliates, uh, multiple ways to attach this unique ID to the conversion event. But typically we use it, for example, with Shopify integration, it happens seamlessly with uh, ClickBank, Store, or affiliate links. It happens through dynamic redirects. And again, there are multiple ways to do it. In the end, the ID is attached to the conversion event. And of course, we can also do it with the script-based tracking, although less reliable than backend integration. And when conversion event happens, this data and conversion metadata is being pushed into RedTrack, so we can do this deterministic attribution further enhanced by artificial intelligence to match conversion and uh, click apply attribution model and give you reports. At the same time, we can also send that conversion data back to the original ad network via conversion API integrations or stress integrations to enhance those networks machine learning. And we do it again with what rich payload and all the data goes back, for example, to Facebook to allow Facebook to run your campaigns better and find you more clients. So, speaking about the reports, it leads us to the ability to show you. Um, uh, let's do like this. No, it's not scrolling. Okay. Granular performance based reports that show in a corner store event, for example, last paid click attribution, and can show you what exactly worked across all your ad networks, campaigns, ads to deliver the results. Then you have conversion path reports that shows you high level picture on how different customers interact with your ads across different platforms. And then very granular customer journey reports that can tell, okay, this guy came from this ad or this placement, clicked here, made these conversion events and eventually resulted in this purchase. Of course, it's all anonymized, so you don't see exact user names, but you see exact user journeys and because we showed the order, you can go back into a Shopify, for example, and get the user details. So, coming soon, we'll also have attribution modeling that would allow you to do all those U-shape, last click, first click, uh, assist clicks, attribution with different weights to give you the credit you need to the touch points you need and uh, see the actual impact, especially important for our campaigns that drive traffic to the top of the funnel. Now, how these turns into uh, real-life UI visible examples? First, granular reports. For example, we have Facebook traffic. We see, can see all Facebook campaigns. We see those ad groups. We see ads, and we see the results. Clicks, conversions. We can see uh, cost of those clicks. We can see the revenues. We can see ROI. And you can see this data real-time and act upon it. Then... Conversion path reports. Depending on your touch points, and this one is very simple, like one, two oh, touch points over the last seven days when you try to get a bigger view. So you can see how visitors and how many of those interactions resulted in purchase interact with different ads, like different Facebook ads, uh, direct entries, organic search from Google. Okay, so you see those high-level journeys that lead to the desired results and their share in the overall conversion events. And by the way, this look-back period 
is exactly what we are referring to in this like attribution window how long in the past we will search in all those clicks that Retrex stores without sampling aggregation to get your conversion data. So lookback window is important and for uh, larger conversion cycles allows you to see the actual start of the final, not the middle of it, which will be then cut by the uh, limitations of the attribution window. Last but not the least, customer journey reports where you can see all your orders our customers in the other view of this report, their uh, purchases, their timestamps, the conversion events, and when you click on any of those, you'll get into the granular reverse chronological order of the events made by customer. From purchase all the way to the incoming click with all the details of this click, which we in here currently is an attributed traffic, but we still captured the source so that it's coming from Instagram, but since it's organic click, which we differentiate from paid click, we don't have any additional data about ad group ads or placements or keywords. And this is it. This is an uh, inside view into, or maybe uh, this is a granular view into how retro technology attribution works and why it delivers the reports from performance reports to conversion path to customer journey reports and why the data is accurate. Again, ability to store all clicks and conversion data without sample and aggregation, having deterministic attribution based on UKD and having that deterministic attribution enhanced by our uh, machine learning or AI that is powered again on the ability to process all those billions of clicks, actual billions of clicks we store for our clients real time. This is Light from RedTrack and hope now you can have a better insight into how RedTrack works.